Hey guys, it's Jason here at Feral Texas Outdoors and we are going to show how you set up a M6T. This is a vehicle mounted thermal by Infrared Outdoor. This thing is awesome. We have done a lot of field testing with this unit and I have it set up here on my Bronco. Of course, we're gonna show you how we're gonna set it up here with a UTV later, but you go ahead and join me. I'll show you how we sit here and we post this thing up here on top of this vehicle. If Jess wants to kind of follow me here. So you have four suction cups here, guys. And so you can see how there's red line indicators. What happens is you'll keep pumping until those red line indicators go away. And so that actually lets you know if you're going from place to place, if your seal's still good or not. So as long as your red is not showing on your seal, you guys are perfectly good to go. There is a power cable here for the controls going off that we actually have going back into our cab. And so we'll be able to show you kind of how that, how that works here. But you do have to have uh, cables here connected for the power and then also for you guys to see um, for your controller. But we'll get in the cab here and we'll look at this. All right, guys, we got on here in a vehicle. We've got everything set up with our M6. And so we have it here on our display. If you guys get set up here at Feral Texas Outdoors, we will show you how to get into a vehicle display like this, like we have on ours. It is a live feed here to our display on our vehicle but we can tell you how to do that if you pick one up from us we'll tell you what the secret is guys but otherwise you can use app you can use your phone you can use tablets you know other devices that have wi-fi streaming that uh, that you're able to have a visible screen on it you can do a fixed screen with a video cable um, the only thing is you won't be able to interact with a video cable um, with that one so you do kind of want the apps that way you can have all the interactions as you can see here on the screen you know you can see what direction the thermal is pointing so you can see, okay, there's a little green. Um, you can see your white hot. You can see the Wi-Fi signal, what magnification you're on. Of course, here on the left-hand side, you can see how you can, uh, this right here is actually your setting for where your front is. So if you did like throw this on at a different angle, you could actually reset where the front is where you want it to re-zero to. That's the reset button here. We can just press it. Like you don't know where you are in orientation, just press that button and it'll spin around to where you had set that orientation point. Of course, we have a ton of different settings here, white hot, black hot things. Um, on the right hand side, you have your manual nuke, you have your picture, recording, your zoom, and some location stuff. But there is a ton of different features here on the M6. One that we're gonna see if we can show here, um, see how well this works, is you do have a laser designator here. You can see it on the screen. It actually marks it on the screen where it is. You can see there on the screen where it's pinpointed and then we can look at it out here and you can see where our laser is. I see I'll turn my headlights down here. And there you go. So you can turn your laser off. And then another feature on here is you have a laser rangefinder. So right now it's in meters. We're talking about getting it over into yards. But you can see you can read out here to the gate. And it, this thing is pretty accurate. And I kind of like that little picture in picture feature down there on the right. So we got, oh, it looks like we're catching something, catching the branch, catching the branch off that tree. So if we can get right below it, it's cutting that beam. About 53 meters. I think about adding 10%. But I would say this thing is pretty sweet. Be able to sit there and range, call out ranges to guys, be able to do that. I mean, that's awesome. I'm going to be able to run that thing around. See, we'll cut it over here. There we go. Grass is real tall here. All right, we're gonna drive down the road here with our with our M6 and kind of show you because we want to show how well the vi the vi video stabilization works on this unit. So I want to show you also as well as the Wi-Fi signal, that streaming. Just kind of see how smooth that is, you know, because we're working the joystick here. So we're working the joystick here, and this is how I'm controlling it with our little joystick. And just seeing how smooth that operation is, that you're able to do that, um, being able to scan and go. But the video stabilization works really, really well. So we'll get going down the road here, and we'll kind of show you what it looks like here on the screen. We'll wait for the gate to open here. You know, we are hitting cattle guards and everything as well. So you can kind of see, you got some bumpy roads, you got some uh, 
what you call it, gravel roads and stuff. But we are hitting that kind of the paved road. So see a nice smooth image. Yeah, going 43 miles an hour. Then I can go out there and I can still scan fields. See if we can find us some cows or something around here. Oh, there's some cows over there. Alright, so we got some cows out there in front of us. Let's see if we got anything else. We got cornfields up and things around us, so I don't know what we're gonna find. Let's see if we can go spot something in here in some of the tall grass. some deer out there you can see how easy that is just driving along I mean we're all in the cab driving down the road easily scanning can then throw us a range whoop laser so we'll go ranger deer out here and see how we do so we're out there 113 meters out there you can get kind of fine tuned on them yeah, there you go. So you can say this thing can turn all, whoop, I don't go down on the ground here. You can turn this thing all the way around, scanning all the way around you. And now we're all right back to the start there. Pretty awesome little setup, guys. I mean, this thing is, I think, is a must have now. I mean, we're going to go sit there and go put it on our buggy, but just guys that may just be kind of hunting from the truck, you know, this thing putting this deal on, not having to have the windows down. I mean, because you can't see out the front windshield. I mean, you can see right here, we've got thermal straight on in front of us. You know, think about pulling into fields, you know, aiming your truck a certain way. Think of your guys running from a high rack or whatever the setup may be, or just, you know, just going into fields, being able to scan, not having all the windows down scent getting out of the vehicle you know it's just i think it's just much more convenient deal to be able to out here and go out here and scan i mean image quality is awesome i mean right now it's about 85 percent humidity so we're not even in the best conditions right now trying to run, you know kind of run this test we wanted to get this video out so i can say this thing's pretty awesome but we're gonna go get out there we're gonna get it on the buggy and uh, show what it looks like here running on a buggy type setup. So we've got everything rigged up over here now on our Polaris Ranger Kinetic. So this is an electric buggy, but we got it up with our high rack set up and everything. We got it powered on, but we're gonna go drive around here now with our buggy. I mean, vehicle, it's awesome, but I can tell you a buggy getting actually in the field with it and getting out there in the pastures and stuff and going around, getting into setups. This thing's really awesome, guys. I will tell you, this thing is definitely a must have. And fit here on this, you know, this is the polymer roof on here. So, you know metal polymer like the little plastic polymer here be perfect for that suction cup to be able to fit it on there guys all right so we've got everything set up here in a buggy we've got our ipad set up here now where we've got the m6 connected up with an ipad and i can tell you this this thing is really awesome so and now we got it set up here with the ipad we've got all of our our deals set up here we've got it here on this this windshield mount to where we can see everything here you can see our dog there and the one thing I do like is if you're not going to mess with the remote, you can use the touchpad screen on here. It is pretty sensitive. I did like that. Like we mentioned earlier, I can have this thing re-zero back. And you can actually reset the point. Let's say I want to reset the point over here. 
So I'd hit this button and go over, centers this up back up. And then of course we have, there is our laser manually done here from the tablet. And of course our laser rangefinder done there. Then a ton of other settings that we have here, being one being our black hot, red hot, little rainbow colored mode there. Me, a boring, just traditional white hot guy. Um, and that's what we're looking like here. Of course, we got our pictures recording. Then we're gonna zoom in on our dog here. We got a one base. That was two. That was now this is four. He's out here chasing rabbits. Well, I'm gonna make a trip down here, down the road here, real quick. Again, just kind of show here now, kind of on a buggy. We'll we'll drive off in the pasture a little bit too, so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. So I'm driving, you know, a good 10 miles an hour. A bumpy field over here. Just kind of show. You got the suction cups up there. This thing's working pretty good. You, know, you can still see, hey, you know, like our dogs running around. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna show what the zoom looks like here. So let's check our range. There's a person walking over here. So he's 377 meters is our neighbor over there walking. A good distance away. And also the humidity right now is about 85%. So it is pretty humid. You know, you get pixelated when you zoom in. But the fact is that we did detect somebody. I mean, there's on your base magnification guys. I can still see there's a person walking almost I mean that's gonna be over 400 yards away as we're gonna meters converting over but I can clearly see there's a person out there so I say if you're looking for a scanning device I mean this thing is awesome I'm sitting here able to still kind of drive around not have the handheld got a nice big display here to be able to see I mean, it's a lot more convenient to do it handheld, trying to look out the window and look. I mean, I'm looking straight ahead of us like earlier with the vehicle, but I'm still able to do that and kind of see where we're going, see what we've got in front of us. I mean, like if you saw something there, I mean, able to go right on top of them and see. But it is going to be a must-have for me, for sure. I think the M60 is an awesome, awesome, awesome piece of technology. Being able to vehicle mount it, you know, like I said, throwing it on buggies, on vehicles, you know, I mean, there's a lot of hunting applications, but, you know, a lot of these guys that are kind of worried about things that are going on in the world, you know, you know, kind of our, our prepper kind of guys, being able to mount these on vehicles and be able to drive around. And then we get some guys navigating dark, you know, worry about running deer over or things like that at night when they're nighttime driving. I mean, it is an awesome tool to use, and it is definitely one that we like to keep around for, you know, the department hunting guys really liked it. We really liked it. I mean, going out there and stocking up on pigs. I mean, laser rangefinder built in. I mean, it's just kind of got the best best of both worlds of everything that you can do here with the thermal and night vision. So if you have questions, please reach out to us, feraltexasoutdoors.com, or you can shoot us a message on our social media platforms, give us a call at the store, or better yet, come by and see us in person and get hands-on with the M6 and test it out for yourself at our retail location. We're located about halfway between Austin and Waco here in Central Texas, and we'll be happy to set you up with the unit. But if you have questions, reach out to us, guys. We'll get you set up. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified the next time we post a video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on any of our social media platforms. You can also call us, send us a text, or as always, visit us here at our store located in Holland, Texas, between Austin and Waco. Now, if you want to get more in-depth information from other users, not just us, feel free to join our Facebook groups so you can see what others are saying about the product as well. As always, thank you for watching.
Bye.